Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring Kids. So, today I'm going to be doing a flip through of 100 Hugs by Chris Riddle. Now you may be wondering, why am I flipping through this because it's not actually a colouring book? Well, I've found that it can be a colouring book and I'm going to show you that actually you can colour in reading books. Or this isn't even a reading book, this is a picture book, so I'm going to show you. Um, I saw this book yesterday when I was out in London. I went to see Phantom of the Opera, it was amazing. And we had some spare time before we needed to get on the train at Waterloo, so we went into foils and at the counter there was this. And I flicked through it, you know, because I like Chris Riddle. I've had his previous books, his Otterline books and his Goth Girl books. Um, and I flipped through it because I love his illustrations and then I saw that it was line art. and. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I've coloured a picture to show you, you know, how it works and what I use and what I think would be best to use and things like that. So let's get started. So this has got a matte cover, very smooth cover, then lovely blue and the flamingos. Originally when it came out in the US, I think, um, it was the... Um, Owl and the Pussycat or something. The first edition or whatever it was. But I'm really glad it's the Flamingo. And we've got this shiny gold foiling on the 100 Hugs. So on the spine it is cracked because I've had to crack it to be able to colour in it. We've got the little um, pandas and 100 Hugs. There we go. I'll just read you the back. These hugs warmed my heart as I drew them. I hope this book will warm the hearts of those in need of a hug. Chris Riddle. So, let's get started. In terms of size, I'll get a book to show you. This is a standard Joanna Basford book. It's World of Flowers, and you can see how much smaller it is. It's probably... You could fit about four of these on the book. It's very small, but very handy for pocket size. I don't have the Hanlon Enchanted Faces, but I would say it's probably even a bit smaller than that. So yeah, it's lovely. So, I've got nothing on the cover, we've just got 100 hugs written there. This paper is paper that you would use, you know, that would be reading paper, so any kind of normal-ish book, reading book, it's this sort of paper, which won't... You know, some people won't like it, but I think it's fine. And obviously with it not being a colouring book, usually it has got the other books that he's done. Um, and then we've got the title page here, 100 Hugs, Chris Riddle, and we've got the bear and a little girl. And then we've got the publishing information. So this was originally published in 2017. Um, but this edition was published in 2019. So yeah, oh, it's lovely. So there are 12 quotes running through this book, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you. So I'm going to read them to you as we go through, and I think the quotes are really nice, just kind of break up the images a bit. So, uh, one word frees us of all the weight and pain of life, that word is love. I'm just going to flick through it now, so we've got the owl and the pussy cat. We've got a realistic um, page, so either the pages are realistic in the sense of people, um, then we've got animals which are realistic looking, or we've got kind of fantasy type things like these, so, you know, other creatures and things like that, so I think this is meant to be Bigfoot and Littlefoot. Batman and Catwoman. Sorry. Um, and pandas, again realistic, and it's not completely black, there are bits of white where he's drawn them and I love that. Flamingos, love them. This is the Mr Munro character, if it, was, if it will focus, from his Otterline books, so in the book she has this guardian which is called Mr Munro, and he doesn't live with his family, he lives with her and I think this is him with his family, which is really sweet. Okay, we've got another quote. Words are easy like the wind. Faith, faithful friends are hard to find. I think they're meant to be koi fish. Love this one. Realistic stag with a little girl. Got 
some unicorns and polar bears, my favourite animal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how this one goes because obviously they are meant to be white. So maybe that I have to do a little pencil background or something. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I would always rather be happy than dignified. So this is what I mean with the um, kind of more fantasy style pages with these little um, ogre type things. Got some bugs and we've got a bear holding a little doll. I think this is meant to be the nutcracker. And I'm going to make this one the ugly duckling with the ugly duckling there because I think it's so cute. This one reminds me a bit of Shakespeare, so maybe something in between kind of Midsummer Night's Dream and The Tempest or something like that. I'm not sure if it's meant to be that, but probably not. But it's kind of something fantasy um, related that I can make it into. I think this is just meant to be a wizard and his daughter or wife. Some cute little elves there. And Alice in Wonderland. This is probably going to be a favourite for everyone if they do decide to get this. Got some griffins. And another realistic one. Got some people, very tall people, on their sticks. Man there. He's more myself than I am. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Got Pinocchio. Another realistic one. Got Medusa. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a baby or obviously it's meant, maybe it's just the head of someone that's dead. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's quite cool though. Another realistic one. Crocodiles. Some witches, that reminds me of the goth girl actually. Elephants, oh so cute. If I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I could walk through my garden forever. He's lovely too, we've got another fantasy based one, two leaf type girls. Three little pigs, these could either be the pigs from the nursery rhyme or the pigs from Shrek, I'm not sure. Got some troll goblin things. Um, some old wizards, an old grandma I'm guessing with her three little grandchildren and this is the page that I've coloured so this reminded me of that book and animated film The Stickman by Julia, Julia Donaldson so I have kind of proved to myself that I can colour on paper like this it may not be the best paper but I love how it turned out and I'm just going to show you quickly what I use and this was one of the harder pages as well because with it being just glue bound I was worried that the pages would fall out but they haven't and these pages are stuck together so that was actually quite hard to do but I did it so the things that I used just get all my supplies I didn't use many pencils at all actually So I used all Prismacolors apart from two colours. So I did a base, so for all of the browns, both of the browns I should say, I did a base of burnt ochre. And then for one of them I used, um, let me think, Sandbar Brown from Prismacolor, Sienna Brown and Burnt Ochre. So that was one of them, that was the red reddish one here and then this one's ever so slightly different I used light umber sandbar brown again and sepia oops gosh um, and then for this ground bit here I just added a bit of artichoke and a bit of that light green and then lime peel and the sap green light and then for the leaves I did a mixture of moss green and lime peel together, these ones, and olive green and the sap green light together. So it was a real minimal colour palette, but the thing, you can probably see how like, shiny it is, the thing that brought it together was 
this. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what these are, these are Caran d'Ache full stick blenders. They usually are very long. Mine always snap, so that's great. They're usually this long. And you sharpen them in a sharpener. And it says here, you, won't, you probably won't be able to see, full blender, bright, it's made by Caran d'Ache. There you go, you can see it now. And they are excellent. I, I don't really use them much in my colouring books, though. I tried out in this book the Prismacolor Blender, the Derwent Blender, and the Caran d'Ache one. And the Caran d'Ache was by far the best. So I'm just sticking with this for this book, mostly. Um, because I don't really use it, so it's a really nice um, project to be able to use use it on. So that's that's the blender you need to use. Because of the ink, it does smudge. So I found that using this blender is just so much easier and the ink doesn't smudge as much and yeah, it's just better. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's so cute. So I'll move my pencils and we will get that. I'm just going to move these back. So they'll still be in the frame a bit, but oh well. So we've got Dracula and the lady there. Got some octopus type characters. Bats. Oh, sorry, I skipped one. Got some knights. And a gorilla or chimpanzee. Gorilla, I think. And then we've got this adorable mouse with hugging a tree. It's meant to be a Christmas tree, but it could be a normal tree. And then these women look like they're they're actually against each other. I think they're meant to be um witches. Kangaroo, some gosh. This is Beauty and the Beast, if you haven't noticed, he's got the little horn there, um, his waist jacket on, um, and then yeah, that's Belle. It's kind of from Shrek to the um, gingerbread man. I think this is meant to be a Yeti maybe. Snow White, I think I'm going to make this one Dopey because Dopey is the one who's kind of in love, or he's very lovable and things like that, so I'm going to make that him. I'm guessing this is meant to be Thumbelina because she's the same size as a bird and birds are tiny so yeah, I'm going to say that's Thumbelina. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Cute rhinos, platypus, we've got some, another realistic one here and I've noticed that I really like the fact that the main people have thicker boulder lines whereas this little background area here with the robots is um, more sketchy i like that this is jasmine and her father so that's obviously meant to be from aladdin well, i'm guessing a granddad maybe and his granddaughter this one's quite ironic because they're meant to be against each other but they're hugging because in chess obviously this is um, the black team and then the white team, you know, for um, if you're playing against someone in that game, you wouldn't usually, they wouldn't be on the same chess piece hugging each other. One of them would have been winning and um, throwing the other one off, but I thought that was quite funny. Never love anyone who treats you like you're ordinary. That's a good one. They're quite close to each other. Some pirates, Ma rats, piss and boots, something's adorable, dog and a girl, some old men. Um, not sure, I think these are mostly just his own ideas now. Um, um, that's an angel I think. Again, we've got some more realistic ones. Perhaps everything that frightens us is, in its deepest essence, something helpless that wants our love. Otters, oh my gosh, and this snowman. Adorable. We've got the princess and the frog, and the hare and the tortoise story, if you haven't seen that. Slow and steady wins the race. We've got a unicorn type thing, except it's got wings. And I'm going to make these look like the characters from home. There's also some really similar which come up later. Or in a minute, actually. Got a queen and a princess. Some ogres. 
What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. Some dogs. And mice. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favourites. Dragons. Again, these are very similar to the home characters too. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. There's scarecrows, hinting at Wizard of Oz, maybe. Every heart sings a song, incomplete, until another heart whispers back. It's Rapunzel. Some gnomes there, too. That's obviously hinting at Wizard of Oz, too, because it's the... Tin Man, a girl and her dog, I think that could be the old lady in the shoe, a cute fairy there with an elf, I'm going to make one of these look like Ariel, I was thinking Little Miss Muffet but I'm not sure, I don't think so, adorable, oh my gosh, These ones always look quite sinister, but I don't think they're meant to be. I'm not sure, but I think they're harpies. Love consists of this, two solitudes that meet, protect and greet each other. That's the last one, so we've got some blank pages here. Information about Chris Riddle. His goth girl books, his Ottoline books and a little doodle page there so that's the whole book um i really hope you've enjoyed this there's one thing i just want to mention if i stick this normally and just let it hold then the cover flips up now that's not the same with coloring books coloring books usually don't do that so i have got a solution you can use a rubber band if you want and then what this will do as long as you get it flat or flat enough then all your pages will be able to flatten out uh, because they'll all just be more compressed so that's a solution if you don't want the pages flinging about and everything like that but yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this flip through let me know if you are considering getting this to use as a colouring book or just getting it anyway for the illustrations because the illustrations are lovely on their own too. Um, but yeah, let me know and obviously if you do want to um, send me what you do or if you follow any of my colour alongs or anything like that then my email is always in the drop box, the description box, sorry. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate all of the comments that I get and all of the subscribers and it's just so lovely and I can't believe that I've only been on YouTube for two months and I've got about 120 subscribers so for me that's a really big achievement so I just want to thank everyone who has helped me um, you know get this far but yeah anyway I hope you've enjoyed this I absolutely love this um, and I will see you in my next video enjoy coloring guys bye